you know, our dogs are going to encounter things that they think are scary. Who are we to tell them that it's not a scary thing? I think the other really important concept that you're touching on here is the idea of, I think a lot of um, owners, but even a lot of professional trainers that I talk to, especially if they were sort of brought up in the training world from a, I don't want to say like an old school tradition, but just a more kind of strict obedience kind of tradition is that, okay, if our dog is insecure about seeing another dog, our, our number one priority is to try to convince them n- not to be insecure. Whereas what you're saying resonates a lot with me because I often tell people the first priority is to teach the dog, hey, if you feel insecure, here's a more appropriate way to deal with right. those feelings <clears throat> as opposed to trying to, you know, like convince the dog to feel otherwise. You know, our dogs are going to encounter things that they think are scary. Who are we to tell them that it's not a scary thing? But right like you're never going to eliminate like any instance of your dog ever feeling insecure or fearful in their life. That's always going to happen. So first and foremost, let's make sure that when they feel that way, that they've got some appropriate options of how to deal with it. Then over time, we can help them feel more comfortable around these things. But, but first and foremost, let's just say, cool, you're afraid of that dog. I get that. He's a big dog or I get that. We don't know that dog. Yeah, totally. I get it. You're, you're afraid here's a better way of dealing with that fear, right? right. Let's, let's, right. instead of charging forward, let's do this thing instead, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think that's such an important thing for people to hear. Cause I do feel like, I, I, you know, I think I, especially a lot of dog owners that they're really like fear is such a taboo thing in our, in our culture, especially with dogs that our priority just goes to like, we must eliminate the fear. And you know, it's, it's okay for your dog to be a little bit uncertain when it sees another dog approaching or a strange person approaching. I mean, I, like, I always say like, like how many dog trainers do you know, for instance, Brian, cause you talk to tons of dog trainers, right? Yeah. How many dog trainers do you know that freely allow their dogs to, um, meet nose to nose with, uh, with strange dogs that they see on the street, like other people walking their dogs. Like, like how many professionals yeah. do you know that do that? Almost none. none right. <laughs> and okay. Well, why? Well, because we don't know that dog, that dog might be this, that dog might be that. So what you're saying is you have reason to feel a sense of caution about a strange dog you see. Well, yes, I have reason to feel a sense of caution about a strange dog. Then why are you trying to convince your dog to not right. have a sense of caution about seeing it. Like, you see what I mean? Like there's this yeah. disconnect where right. we try to get our dog to feel in a way that's not even in line with how we perceive the world. 